will now be delivered by Minister Antoine Plessy of the Baltimore District, U.S. Army, Corps of Engineers. Good morning. Please bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you this day to give you all the glory, honor, and praise. You are truly worthy of our praise, dear Lord. You are the source of all love and all that is good. You are the source of all of our blessings. We will now proceed with a change of command. The transfer of colors at a military change of command ceremony is an honored military tradition. For much of history, military leaders have used flags or colors around which the members of the command could rally. When in the thick of battle, soldiers were not able to see their commander, a glimpse of the colors provided encouragement that victory was attainable. In the United States Army, unit colors represent the proud heritage of the organization. For the Baltimore District, the Corps of Engineers colors symbolizes our commitment to accomplishing all of our missions with professionalism and integrity. Mr. Dave Morrow, the Deputy District Engineer for Programs and Project Management, the senior civilian position in the Baltimore District, presents the colors to Colonel Jordan to begin the transfer of command. As a gesture of his relinquishing command, Colonel Jordan passes the flag to North Atlantic Division Commander, Colonel William Graham. Colonel Graham then gives the flag to Colonel Edward Chamberlain, in handing the flag to Colonel Chamberlain, Colonel Graham charges the new commander with the responsibility of leading the Baltimore District in its tradition of dedication and service to the nation. Headquarters, Department of the Army, Baltimore District, United States Army Corps of Engineers, Baltimore, Maryland. By the authority of Army Regulation 600-20, the undersigned assumes command of the United States Army Engineer District, Baltimore, effective 17th July, 2015. Signed, Edward P. Chamberlain, Colonel, Corps of Engineers, Commanding. Now I'm pleased to introduce Colonel William Graham, Commander, North Atlantic Division. Looking out over the fort with that flag in the backdrop is just unbelievably special and is a great indication of what the Army means to this area, what the Corps of Engineers means to this area, and how important it is, the work that we do. So Trey, on behalf of the Army, I just simply want to thank you for a job magnificently well done. As that sign said better than I ever could, <laughs> it is exactly the right leader to lead this superb organization into an ever busier future. So it's no accident then that Colonel, Colonel Chamberlain is here commanding this critically important district. So in closing, the colors are passed and back under the careful and wonderful stewardship of the DPM Dave Morrow. And the Baltimore District stands ready to continue its phenomenal history of service to the nation. Building strong, Army strong. Colonel Graham is followed by Colonel J. Richard Jordan III, the outgoing commander and district engineer. Good morning, everybody. What a day. This is what a change of command ceremony is all about. Uh, just thank you for the opportunity for placing the trust in me and letting me run a great district like Baltimore District. 
you're well qualified to do it and I have no qualms of turning this command over to you because you're going to take it to the next level. You're going to be in support of our nation's needs and its security. Baltimore District, proud past, dynamic future, building strong. Thank you, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, Colonel Edward P. Chamberlain, Commander and District Engineer of the Baltimore District, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Hey, how you guys doing? <laughs> well, good again. Good morning. And uh, just soak all that in. Look at that. This is pretty cool. All right, official speech now. Distinguished guests, family and friends, customers and partners, and outstanding employees, service members, team members of the Baltimore District, Words simply cannot express how excited and honored I am to join the Baltimore District and serve as your 67th District Commander and District Engineer. Today is a homecoming of sorts for me. I was born and raised in Alexandria, Virginia, and now I get to serve in a district whose footprint now includes my hometown. I am absolutely committed to working with all of you and with our partners and customers all across the six states and District of Columbia to deliver for our citizens because that's what's so great about the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and why I'm so honored to have just one more opportunity to serve with you today. Thank you for attending today this incredible ceremony at the beautiful Fort McHenry Essayance. 